So what's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today, what we're going to be going over is the top 10 best guns in Apex Legends right now. We're going to be looking at 10 different weapons that are absolutely fantastic, talking about why they're so good, how you should use them, what weapons they work with, and some interesting facts that you might want to know about them as well. Now, before we jump into that list, if you guys don't mind sparing a second to drop a like rating on the video, if you want to see more Apex Legends content, I'd be more than happy to do so. And of course, make sure that you're subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any more Apex Legends content that I do very often on this channel. Make sure you let me know in the comment section what is your number one favorite weapon in Apex Legends. Last but not least, if you'd like to join my Discord server because I know it sucks to play Apex Legends with randoms. If you want to talk to people in there, it's a great place to be. Go join my Discord server and uh, make some friends. Finally, with that all the way, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the top 10 best weapons right now in Apex Legends. So coming in today at the number 10 spot, I'm going to give this to the Peacekeeper Shotgun. Now, this seems to be the favorite of a lot of people, and I think that has to do with a lot how it's a traditionally performing pump action shotgun, right? It's going to feel instantly familiar when you pick it up if you've played other fps games and you know how to use shotguns like this it's going to feel like right at home now the way that this gun works is that it has a pellet spread and you get damage based on how many pellets you land and where they hit on the body this makes sense and it's a pretty easy concept to understand and get the grasp of it's going to do more damage if you land pellets on headshots rather than if you do body shots but only by a little bit so you want to be just aiming to land as many pellets as possible if you want to be effective with this gun and it's really nice to pair with something like an ar or even sm G's I found is is great to run as well. I wouldn't recommend using a shotgun and a sniper because you leave that mid-range very open and for right now the meta just doesn't really seem to be friendly towards that so if you're running the Peacekeeper you can pair it with something like an assault rifle and you'll be good to go. Just as a quick side note I think the Peacekeeper might be the easiest gun to kind of ease you into the game. If you're new to FPS or if you're new to Apex Legends starting with the Peacekeeper and figuring out how the guns work is a really good way to do that. But moving on and coming at the number nine spot is the R99 SMG and I actually have a soft spot for this weapon because I believe it's it's one of the better SMGs in the game and it doesn't get a lot of love. I think one of the big reasons for that is that it does pretty low damage per bullet but that's not necessarily a bad thing because of how many attachments you can put on it and how you can change the weapon from a very like low tier weapon to actually competitive at almost any range with this. And in my eyes that's kind of the point of this weapon right? It's a good cross between assault rifles and SMGs. It can handle a lot of different ranges and still be good in both of them so this is again not a bad choice at all. If you're starting the game and you're trying to get used to the weapons it's very easy to handle as well which is always a great sign. What's also good is that this gun is pretty easy to find in comparison to a lot of the other guns in the game that just seem to be exceedingly rare. Coming in today at the number eight spot is the Spitfire LMG. Now this is kind of a hot take. I gotta be honest. I like the Spitfire more than I like the Devotion, which probably isn't popular among many players. The Devotion is like the, the apex baby. You know what I'm saying? I guess the reason I personally prefer the Spitfire is because it's overall as a weapon just solid, right? It does a lot of damage and has a decent fire rate, but it's more consistent than the Devotion because with that other weapon, you need to spray for longer to get an increased fire rate which sounds good on paper and that should work but it's not very practical just to be wasting ammo to speed up your fire rate and then to hit your shots you know what i mean so it can be it's a very situational thing but for me personally any day of the week i'd always take the one that's consistent rather than the other one i have to constantly spray to get a good fire rate taking the number seven spot is going to be the longbow dmr now i really like this as a weapon but it comes down to one thing you need attachments for it the problem is that this gun is a little bit on the rare side as well but not only that but you need a scope for this to be effective because the iron sights are just not the prettiest thing in the world to look at however it hits really hard if you can land your shots it holds every variety of different attachments but the most important ones are definitely the optics and also the stock in my opinion the magazine is good because it only holds five on default so if you want to put that up a little bit it's a good thing to try and make a priority and when you get your scopes you get all your attachments that you need if you're able to land headshots body shots are going to do a lot they're going to give you with 55 but if you can land a headshot you're going to deal a whopping 100 110 damage per bullet which is absolutely insane and the best part is since it's not a bolt action sniper rifle and you're not punished for missing shots too hard you know you can get a follow-up shot pretty quickly i would say you have multiple chances of landing those headshots which can be devastating and you can absolutely delete enemies i would strongly recommend this gun if you're a fan of the dmr from halo or the sks from PUBG and games like that it's an incredible weapon but just remember it's very important to get attachments if you want to use this at its full potential coming to the number six spot is the g7 scout which again is in the same class as the longbow but the reason why i'm putting this slightly above the longbow itself is because i don't think that this weapon is as dependent on getting attachments to be good as the longbow is right you pretty much need to deck that one out to be good with it but the g7 scout is good no matter what obviously you want attachments and it's going to make your life easier but you can still be just as dangerous with or without them i think it goes without saying that the g7 scout does do a little bit less damage than the longbow as far as bullets per shot but for me it's not all about dps and how many bullets that you can hit and how hard they hit but 
but it's about the versatility of the gun and the practicality of the weapon that I think matters most. And when it comes down to these two weapons, obviously I ranked the G7 Scout higher than the Longbow, but it was really hard to decide. And I think everybody's going to have maybe a slightly different opinion about it. It's going to be very subjective as well. So I guess all I can do is recommend that you try out both weapons and see which one you, you like better and what fits your play style a bit more. But moving along here and coming in today at the number five spot is the pretty boy of Apex Legends, the one that everybody's in love with, the good old Wingman. Now it's pretty safe to say that there is no other pistol that even compares to this gun as being as contending for a top spot in, in this list. Far and away, the Wingman is just the best no matter which way you want to turn it. And I think it's going to catch a nerf maybe in the future. This thing can deal 45 damage per shot, can deal 90 for a headshot, and you have six in the magazine. Normally in Battle Royale games, I've never been a big fan of revolvers, but this is the exception. Revolvers and BR games have always had a system of checks and balances, right? They hit hard and it can be devastating if you lend your bullets, but there is a severe punishment for missing and you have to wait a long time to get a follow-up shot, right? That was kind of the balancing factor towards it, but in Apex Legends, it kind of feels like the Wingman doesn't have that balance. It has the insane damage if you do land your shots, but there's not much punishment if you miss. So what ends up happening is people just spam shots, and especially if you're in the early game, you only need to hit maybe two or three of them to really put someone away. And if you land a headshot, a devastating 90 damage just is, is an unbelievable amount to do. So overall, I'm going to say right now, the Wingman is definitely one of the best guns in the game just in general, but I expect it to catch maybe a little bit of a nerf in the future. Maybe not even necessarily a damage nerf, but maybe the time that it takes between shots or something like that. Also, it doesn't even really need attachments to make it better. It's great in its vanilla state as it is, so. And the Wingman is, I say this unironically, the best Wingman. Coming into the number four spot is going to be the VK47 Flatline, and I feel like this is the AK47 in a bunch of other games. It's an easier to use weapon. The fight rate is pretty low for what it is, but it hits decently hard when you do land your shots. And it's also a very common weapon, so you'll get a lot of playtime with it, and you'll have plenty of opportunities to practice. The only downside, I think, is that it is, again, pretty dependent on getting attachments for it to be good, or for it to be better, I guess, is a better way to put it. I'm a firm believer that this gun pairs really well with something like a sniper rifle, like a bolt action or a DMR. You know, it works great. The meta with this is insane. And it's one of the very few guns in the game where if you land a headshot rather than a body shot, it, you do double the damage. So you'll hit 16 on the body and 32 if you land a headshot. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to that part of the list where we enter the top three of the best guns in the game. And coming in today at that number three spot, this is going to be the Kraber Sniper Rifle. Now, this is the Mac Daddy of all snipers in the game, and it has irreplaceable ammo. So once you use it, you lose it. Now, the 50 cal bullets that it comes with are absolutely irreplaceable. So keep that in mind and it also does not take any attachments but the great thing about this is that it has an amazing one shot capability if you land a body shot you're going to be dealing 125 damage but if you land a headshot 250 so what it lacks for in customization and different ways you can play the weapon it makes up for it in just sheer damage and delete power that it'll give you and again i think one of the only downsides to this weapon is the fact that it's exceedingly rare right you're not going to get a lot of play time and practice with it so with the, when you do you might not be super familiar with how to use it but i guess the more play time and practice that you put into this game more often than not you're going to get this gun statistically speaking but coming into the number two spot is an insane shotgun and again it's just as legendary as the sniper rifle that we just talked about it's just as rare and you can get it out of these drops and it's exceedingly rare to find but the mastiff shotgun is unbelievably good if you want to think about it this way you can compare it to the peacekeeper like that we talked about at the beginning of this video the way it kind of performs but the pellets don't fire exactly the same way as the peacekeepers does this one is more in the lines of like a horizontal line so it's kind of like you have a choke on the shotgun and it works way better than the peacekeeper the way the mastiff fires is means that it's going to be way easier to hit headshots and also moving targets with the way that the pellets work with the weapon now when it comes to damage assuming you hit all of your pellets you can do 144 in the body but if you hit all of your pellets in the head it's going to deal 288 damage which is insane but the problem is that you know it's hard to hit all of your pellets at once these are relative numbers and it's likely that you're going to miss a couple of pellets but this is a good basis to go off of but anyways ladies and gentlemen coming in today at the number one spot of what i think is going to be the best gun of the game that you can find practically game to game is the r301 carbine assault rifle this thing is a monster what i love so much about this weapon is that the damage is very very close to all of the other ARs, but it fires and handles just like an SMG. I love the quickness of it. I like to play fast and aggressive, and if that's you, then this is going to be the absolute best weapon that you can possibly go after. It's also great to pair with pretty much any weapon in the game. The only thing I'd stay away from is probably SMGs, but take a shotgun for close range, maybe take a DMR or a 
a sniper for longer range, but the AR can handle the rest of it. And just, you'll be surprised about how fast it melts if you can hit every single shot. I don't know about you guys, but I instantly fell in love with this weapon as soon as I first used it in the game. And I gotta say, it's also got probably some of the best weapon skins currently available for the weapons in the in Apex Legends right now as well. But I think the R301 currently is more than deserving of the number one spot, or at least very, very high up on the list. And uh, I want to know what you guys think about this list in the comment section down below. If you agree with it or if you disagree with it, let me know why. And this list will probably change in the future based on how they continue to update and tweak guns and maybe how my personal tastes change. Either way, I still think that this weapon is fantastic and you can never go wrong with it. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to be the video for today. The top 10 best weapons in Apex Legends right now. Let me know your thoughts overall, and also let me know what kind of content you would like to see me post on Apex Legends. My This is actually my second channel, and my main channel. If you're interested in more Battle Royale content, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description, particularly PUBG if that's your thing. Go and check out my main channel and watch those videos over there, but this channel is going to be for Apex Legends. I want to know what kind of content you guys want to see. Leave your ideas in the comments below. I have a couple things that I would like to try on here, and if it sticks, we'll roll with it. If not, we'll switch up the formula and see what happens, but if you want to stay up to date with my social medias, all that will be linked down below as well, but anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching make sure to go ahead and join my discord server if you haven't already if you want people to play apex legends with it'll be a great place to link up over there and uh, without further ado i will see you all on the next live stream or the next video take it easy guys and peace out